Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Flame Colava here and today we're going to be trying out the second wave of DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now, in the UK this comes out at 3 o'clock and as you can see it is 3 o'clock now. So I believe if I just go ahead and check the software update, it says I'm using the latest version. Oh, there we go, it's downloading. Let's go. There we go, it's downloaded now. Let's go ahead and try it. So this wave brings two new cups with a few new courses, some from Tour. We'll go ahead and show you guys all the courses in just a minute. Yep, so there we go. You can see we got the Tulip Cup with New York Minute from Tour, Mario Circuit 3 from the SNES, N64 Calamari Desert and DS1 Luigi Pinball. And then we have Tour Sydney Sprint, GBA Snowland, Weed Mushroom Gorge and Sky High Sunday. So these are the new courses, so we're going to be going ahead and trying these out. So I guess we'll start off with the Turnip Cup first. I'm going to change my character first, hold up. So yeah, we're going to be starting off with the Turnip Cup. So I'm actually very excited that they have Waluigi Pinball here. Very, very classic course from the DS. Love that they bought it back. Very fan favourite one. So starting off with New York Minute from My Kart Tour. I've barely played Mario Kart Tour, but yeah, and as you can see, we are using the B Dasher because Waluigi Pinball, and I got the entire like setup right here for that. It looks way better than the first course of DLC. I don't know if I remember this one from Tour or not. I like this though, it has three different paths that you can choose. I think this was one of the like first ones in Tour. I don't know, I don't remember much, but. This one's quite small. I don't know if they have a Mario Odyssey reference in here or not. It would make a lot of sense if they did. But I don't know. This one's okay, I'd say. The music is quite jazzy, but... Oh, I love how they blocked off one part of the course, I think, in the third round. That's cool. And yeah, look, they actually change it on the last round, like the other Mario Kart Tour courses. I think that's a very cool mechanic. Look at that, we're going underneath here now, that's cool. And look at that. That's place. So that one was very, very short. It was okay, I'd say. I think it is the first course in Mario Kart Tour, if I remember. I don't know. I haven't played Mario Kart Tour since, like, it came out, so... That's why I don't remember as much. This one is SNES Mario Circuit 3. Very classic course. Now, this was a Mario Kart Wii, if I remember. I mean, I always play Mario Kart Wii, I'm not gonna make it. Yeah. Because I always play Mario Kart Wii, I play it online now with CTGP. I've been playing that very recently, actually. So, I don't know, because there's so many Mario Circuits, I swear. So many, like, all the Mario Kart games. I believe this is the one from the Wii, or well, it's also in the Wii, sorry. But they just feel so different, both the Wii version and this one feel very different from one another. Yeah, this is definitely the one from the Wii, I remember a little bit, but... Again, I think it might just be the visuals or something, because it just feels so different. And that's Mario Circuit done. Not much to this course. You know, it's an okay addition here, but... Still, I think uh, I like it because of Mario Kart Wii was in that game as well, but... Now, Calamari Desert. I remember this one they brought back in Mario Kart 7 was a very, very good track, actually. Really like this one. In fact, I don't know if they even brought back any tracks from Mario Kart 7 in the DLC. They might have. I need to check again, but I'd love to see. But I love the remake of this one in Mario Kart 7. Mario Kart 7, honestly, has some of the best tracks in the entire series. <laughs> Even though I still prefer Mario Kart Wii. But yeah, it does look very good. It does now slightly fit in a lot more to Mario Kart 8 style, which I know the first wave of DLC didn't, so... Oh, I like this little detail. I think this is the tour version then, in that case. We got the train right there. I think this is the tour version. I don't remember this in uh, the Mario Kart 7 version. Ah, 
just got green shelled. Oh my goodness. Am I really gonna lose to some CPU? Ah, oh, third place. Alright, I'll take it. And finally, we have Waluigi Pinball. This course from the DS, man. This is the reason why I use the B dasher, because of this course. Oh, I love how they put like the blue one on it. Oh, the sound effects. It really feels like a DS version. I mean, Mario Kart DS, I grew up and played. Oh, I love the sound effect as well for the items. I don't know if they had that in DS. I think so. But, God, this one is... This one's awesome. This part of this section, I think it would have been better if they put this as anti-gravity. I think it would have made a lot more sense, but... Oh well, it's, it is what it is. But yeah, this course definitely would have been cooler if it had anti-gravity. Still, like at least some parts of it. Still there. It's honestly such a great course. I love it so much. But yeah, you can actually trick off this part, which is cool. I love the pinball thing on the top, like the, that's just so cool. Thought again, oh my god. That was pretty decent, I think I do prefer the Wave 1 tracks personally, because they had obviously Coconut Mall and stuff like that, but Waluigi Pinball is definitely the highlight here. Well, except for the brand new course which we'll get into. So here we go, this is Sky High Sunday now. Oh sorry, this is the Propeller Cup, oh my god. Which has two of Sydney Sprints, GBA Snowland, Mushroom Gorge and Sky High Sunday. So starting off with Sydney Sprint. Check it out. This one's actually very cool, I like this one. This might actually be my favourite tour track so far, I like this one a lot. Yeah, this is definitely my favourite tour one, I like how they have like two different tracks to choose from. But this really does feel like a nice city, so I like this one a lot. Oh, we got this now ramp here. Oh, that's cool, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's cool, you got these little theme park attractions. Oh, now we go through the opera house, that's cool. And that's that one. Probably my favourite of the tour tracks so far. I really like this one. Next up is Snowland. This is an interesting one to bring back, but... Okay, I like how there's like a circle of... Um, item boxes, I think that's very nice. This one's interesting, I like this one quite a bit. It's like, surprisingly, this one's actually okay. There isn't pretty much, like, there isn't anything too special, but I actually really like the detail on the road. That's actually very nice. Now, I wonder, can you go underneath here or no? No? Mm, that would have been a cool part, I can't lie, like an underwater section right down there. Yeah, this one was surprising. I actually quite like this one, surprisingly. Oh man, they brought back Mushroom Gorge. Oh, this one looks very nice, actually. Compared to the Wii version. Again, Mark Out Wii is my favourite in the franchise, so... Oh, the music, man. I need to... Let's put this up, bro. Oh, man. I love how the music in this one. The sound effects do feel different compared to the Wii, I don't know, it might just be because the tricking sound effect is different in this game. I remember playing this one, always getting frustrated because of the thing. Can you do the shortcut like in Wii? Nah, you can't, I don't think so. Would be cool if you could, but maybe I'm just bad at doing it. I've never actually gone through this path, I don't think, in this course very interesting even in like the Wii version never really did that I think this is the Mario Kart 2 version but it's actually very fitting I'm using Rosalina and a bike because Rosalina is my main in Mario Kart Wii and I obviously that game you always use bikes so 
and just like on the Wii I just fell off like you always did. Use this path. Yep. And I fell off just like the Wii version. But I got back brought back all the way here. Huh. And that was Mushroom Gorge, very good course. Honestly very happy they bought this one back. And finally we have probably the most interesting one of this entire wave, an original new track that they're gonna port later to tour, which I think is very nice. And that's Sky High Sunday. So this one, I'm interested to see how it's gonna be like. Seeing like the entire course is on anti-gravity. Again, really wish they did it for like some of the other courses as well. I love the music. This one's very tasty looking. I like, I like the art style of this one. It's definitely more of the Mario Kart Tour side. But I think it fits with this course, so... Oh, I love that, you go on wafers as well. This one makes me hungry, makes me really crave some desserts. I've got this really cool little slide part here. I've got these ice cubes, I believe. Oh, this one's awesome, I like this one a lot. You know, I, I did say at the beginning of this video I do prefer Wave 1 courses, but now that I've actually played these, I think I might actually prefer this one. It has a very full guy's aesthetic to, to it, in my opinion. Oh, you can go underneath here, I don't even know that. God, I love all the little like, shops they put here. This is a very, very cool course. And look at that first place. This actually might be my favorite course that they put in this booster course pack, like this wave. I really, really like this one. But yeah, that's basically going to do it for this video. Tell me what you guys think of these courses. I really like that last one. The, that's a very, very cool one. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, then leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.